sunny greetings and I am with you today to share my learning experience from two projects that I have been associated since 1990, uh, 1985 till now and you see the title is Empowering Young Rural and Tribal Women with Solar Rulers and Lessons Learned from Implementation of Two Successful Models in India. The story starts with Burley Development Institute for Rural Women. I am very privileged that I, I was invited to start this institute in 1985 and we, we were training the young girls and women who had never gone to school in a very integrated approach of socio-economic development, health, literacy and uh, vocation. But we, we just happened that Department of Energy Ministry of Renewable Energy, Deepak Gadia, Professor Sani, and many people came forward to they chose the Burley Institute to, to set up first chapter cooker and test it. And it, it started as a testing phase and it goes on because of its very uh, sincere, dedicated efforts of my late husband Jimmy McGilligan. And this institute is behind Fire Angelo has been working since 1985 and we were, we were initially started with box cooker but then 95 the beginning was Shetler cooker and there is during that period of my uh, service there 1985 to 2011 we trained 6000 young girls and women. In this picture they are taking the dish up to make the proper kitchen and the first Direct solar cooking kitchen established in Central India, made by design and made by Jimmy, with the first dish made by Nikhil Garia at Burley Institute that has been cooking for 300 days for about 100 people breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, and it is still going on. And then a storage cooker was also added there. And you can see that it's functioning very well. This is the chapati we were talking. And when the girls saw this kitchen working at the institute, they started asking, how can we take the solar cooker in our house? Because uh, the same situation as Nepal, we have then the whole place is deforested. Women have to walk miles, 20 miles. And they are under lot of threats and there is a lot of socio-economic, psychological problems. So, Plage uh, and Intersol came forward to the Pagaria. They approached Burley to set up a, giving the cookers away to the women. One thing that we were very sure as, as India has been suffering from one particular factor. When we gave technology to people, and did not train the users, they blamed the technology. When we gave them training for empowerment, they did not have access to technology. So this gap was a big lesson learned and we tried to make it a success at Burley because of this lesson. So first 60 cookers were made at the body and then we had a problem with transportation, the focal points were disturbed and then we started getting uh, kids from Germany and 500 cookers working in the villages starting with individual early graduates who were specifically trained in solar cooking and they were first trained and then they could take the kids home and use them. They were trained in assembly, maintaining and using and then micro credit groups were trained at Burley, many many micro credit groups and they started making these things and it became a source of livelihood. There is a shop that they are running in the area and many local level government functionaries and they make with them meal for children and nutrition for small uh, government programs and then we had Haike coming to help training the young tribal women. Jimmy was very particular that we must train local people how to train others. So we started the training of solar cookers, manufacturing and then this is also an example of a 
solar key store run by a early graduate in the field and she is making lot of money and there is a you can see deep fry of snacks and bakery made at Bali and then Jimmy was asked to make solar kitchen in the area in the poor school of tribal area so he built four big kitchens in the area and then unfortunately he passed away in a road accident in 2011 just before when we were planning and we had built a house in a village to to continue the work and our retirement this is our place where we set up this is Jimmy Vatilikan Center for Sustainable Development and there is a kitchen there solar kitchen this is the only solar kitchen in India in any village home and it's a home which is all run by solar energy and wind energy and there is a constant work going on it's not a funded project and I'm not paid by anybody but I'm doing it out of my passion to continue and sustain the efforts and here regularly the groups of women farmers students come and we train them and there is also they have been given uh, light power supply in the in the area and we are living in again neighborhood is tribal community and the work goes on all the time every almost every day in a sunny day we are demonstrating seven types of various workers and researchers school students and college students are coming and this is Jimmy Memorial Program. Ajay Chandra comes every year deeper. And we have his sister, the chef, and recently we organized this special one week program. Whether it is my birthday or Jimmy's and anniversary, it's all solar cooking and solar cooking program. And we are very happy that we are able to do this. And what we have found out of this experience that women who have gone to their villages. The impact is not just health and smoke. Jimmy used to say, it's women cooking in a smoky kitchen is a violence against them. We thought it's mainly smoke and health. But when the, and then we also found that the livelihood of this year, they are able to make the livelihood. But the most important feedback we, we got when they said, When women go 20 miles to pick up food, we have no idea that this is possible and we have focused on collecting data from 1998 till now, 99% of the cookers are working and women are very happy with the cooker and they also told us earlier cooking on fire has been men's agenda, women's agenda, only women have to cook all the time but these cookers especially as they 40 are gender friendly and they are very happy that now men are cooking and helping them. So it has been a, a socio-economic and psychological act, uh, impact as well as it has led to now our, our interest in we, we could host the International Solar Food Processing Conference in 2009 in India. Now we have solar food processing network. We have also formed a local solar food processing network and we are connecting the organic food to uh, solar energy and general devices of solar and renewable energy in general. And we have solar punch recently. I'm very happy that Ellen is here. And we have beautiful programs for solar cooking and impact on people. Thank you so much for having me.